Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. Uh, now I wanted to post a video following up the Apple launch event. Now the Apple launch event occurred today, uh, which is October the 22nd of 2013. Uh, now I felt that Apple really did a uh, really did a bang up job today. And a, a few highlights, if you haven't seen the event, is that they unveiled Mac OS X Mavericks for the desktop, which is completely free. And then with the point of this video, they revealed uh, two new versions of iPad. Now, what we would expect to have been called the um, the iPad 5 is now labeled iPad Air. And what we thought may have been called iPad Mini 2 is actually named iPad Mini with Retina Display. Now, which one should you buy? If you're in the market for a new iPad, should you go iPad Mini with Retina or should you go iPad Air? And I'm only comparing the two new ones the two newest iPads that were that were announced today on the 22nd. I think the iPad Air will probably be available somewhat immediately, and I think they said the iPad Mini sometime in November. But looking at the two, and I'm I'm on a dual monitor, that's why I keep looking over there. But looking at the two from a specs perspective, the iPad Air is 9.4 inches tall, and the iPad Mini with Retina is 7.87 7 inches tall. So there's a there's a decent amount of size difference. The width on the iPad Air is 6.6 .6 inches, and the width on the iPad Mini with Retina is 5.3 inches. Now the weight you're getting a pound for the iPad Air and 0.73 pound for the iPad Mini. So from that perspective, they're both really lightweight. It's just a matter of what kind of size you want. And I know from my experience when I had the iPad 3 that if you would, you know, if you'd sit there and read it for a while, that it would tend to feel a little bit heavy. I know it sounds ridiculous to say, but it's true. And the uh, the weight of this of the full size iPad Air is significantly less than the previous because the previous, well, not the previous, but the iPad 2 weighs 1.35 pounds or 1.33 pounds rather versus the one pound of the iPad Air. So it's you know, and and in looking at the display, both the iPad Air and the iPad Mini 2 with Retina, they're both 2048 by 1536 resolution, and the uh, you know the the resolution is the same. The chip is an A7 with 64-bit architecture, and an M7 motion coprocessor. So you're getting the same chip. The cameras are the same. And the uh, so really, it's just a matter of well, there's a price difference. A 16 gigabit iPad Mini with Retina is listed at 399, and that's a Wi-Fi only model, so that's not going to work on cellular. And then the 16 gigabit iPad Air, which is a full size iPad, is listed at 499 for 16 gigabit. So it's hundred dollars difference. So it's really a matter. What I would recommend is, you know, looking at them in an Apple store if you've got one in your town or a store that sells iPads and just kind of hold them both up. And if you feel that the iPad Mini 2 is large enough, I would probably, or I'm sorry, the iPad Mini with Retina display, if you feel that it's large enough, I would probably go with that. And the reason being is that even though the weight difference is not that significant, when you're holding... 0.73 pounds versus one pound in your hand and if you're like me you like to sit around and read this like a magazine or or use it like a uh, web browser or you know email and everything I mean it's a fully a fully functional device when you're sitting there watching TV trying to relax and you want to check check this or check that or whatever it's just a great tool to do that and personally I'm going to go for the iPad Mini with Retina display, not just because of the weight and the hundred dollar lesser price, but just for the fact that it's uh, I mean it's just a smaller device and it but it's not too small because if you're sitting there on your iPhone, sure you're going to notice that you know if you go from iPhone to iPad you're going to notice a difference and nothing wrong with an iPhone if you want to check something quickly, it's nice, but if you're going to sit there and surf the internet for an extended period of time maybe an hour or so, doing that on an iPhone is going to get really cumbersome 
whereas doing it on an iPad is a lot more it's a lot more relaxing experience so yeah I'm gonna go with the iPad mini with retina display but I thought I uh, thought it was pretty cool it was a really cool presentation they gave today and I, and I couldn't have been happier with that and I and something else I wanted to note about this is that now they're gonna they're gonna include the pages and numbers and those apps that in the past you had to pay for I uh, supposedly they're gonna include those now with the uh, with the iPad so that's cool I mean that's quite a few dollars saved by doing that and then then Apple also has a cover they're gonna sell a cover that'll fit both well it'll fit either it'll fit they're gonna have one for the iPad Air and one for the iPad mini a new iteration of the one you know that they used to call it the smart cover that goes over the front but now they've also got covers that will cover the rear of the iPad so that's kinda neat because uh, in the past you had to order those aftermarket and sure Apple's charging a premium for them but I'm sure they'll be well, very well designed and that's it so yeah my verdict I would go iPad mini with retina display unless you check these out in the store and you just feel that the iPad mini is too small for you and it and it may be but I don't think it is I think it's I think it's the perfect fit it's the perfect mix between a phone the iPhone and a laptop or a desktop computer it's that it's that comfortable hey pull it out instant own you know boom check check email check a website watch a YouTube video and it's it's not gonna wear your hand out and, and like I said, I know it sounds stupid to say something's heavy when it's only a pound. You know, like the old one, the iPad 2 was 1.33 pounds. But the difference between 1.33 pounds of an iPad 2 and the 1 pound of the iPad Air or the 0.73 pounds of the, uh, of the iPad mini with retina display. And I did not win the PlayStation 4, by the way. I tried to win, but I didn't win. Oh, well. I hope this video wins, and please uh, share this video with others. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy, and check out all my videos. I'm going to do a lot of videos in regards to uh, today's Apple release, and then also today, and this is a separate video, but I ordered the, uh, I, was, I was debating between Mac Pro or iMac, and ended up getting the iMac. So check out the other video. I'm going to have a lot of cool videos of that, unboxing, review, etc. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.